Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to reboot your whole Mac so you're erasing everything from it. We're starting right from factory settings so we're going to be erasing all the content from it plus installing the OS again, okay? So for us to do this, before you even turn it on, what we're going to be pressing is Command R, okay? So we're going to be holding those keys even before you turn this on and then what we're going to do is erase the entire content so make sure to have all your files and everything out of here before you proceed with all these directions, okay? Um, for those of you who have Time Machine set up, then this is the time to do it, okay? And don't do this just before you're selling your computer. So if you have to sell it in one hour, <laughs> um, this is not good to do just with one hour, okay? You guys will need a little bit more time because it's gonna download the whole OS again when you install that. So it's gonna take some time. I would highly suggest doing this at least one day if you guys are going to sell your computer and that's why you're doing this just one day ahead okay at least so anyways let's just get started um we're just gonna press this and then we're gonna be holding command r okay so I'm holding command r already i'm pressing the power key okay um and what we want is to hold the command key plus r until we see this loading bar once you guys see the loading bar a little bit at least loading a little bit, at least halfway for some of you, all right? Then you guys can let go, okay? If you let go before that, you guys might have some problems. So make sure to just hold on to there <laughs> until you get halfway or you see a little bit of the bar going. If you guys don't see the bar going yet, keep pressing and holding Command R, okay? So that's the most important thing that we're gonna do actually today it's the, this key combination and this will work with older models so as you guys can see this macbook pro has the touch bar but um with other ones it's the same thing okay and right now let me just right there on my screen you guys will see this so let me just zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see what's up okay so at this point we're gonna have to choose english as our main language and then just click on next the arrow down here below and then this is the main thing that you guys have to see so to reinstall your os that's it okay now i've done this before just reinstalling the os i found um that it doesn't delete your files so if you guys are just doing that it's not going to delete all your files what you guys need to do to delete everything from your mac is go to disk utility so we're going to go right into disk utility and i'm going to show you a couple options right there Okay, what you guys want to format is the first option where it says internal. And let me just click up there. There we go. So this tells me my disk space exactly. So it's 500 gigs. Okay, if I click on Macintosh HD, then I can see how much I have free and how much I've used and so on. All right. So what you guys want to do is just go right there and then just click on erase. So right here, it's my erase. So I'm just going to click right there. Now this will delete, erase means erase. <laughs> it's gonna delete your entire content, okay? Um, I would leave the name, but this is the time where you guys could change the name if you guys want to. I'm just gonna leave it as is. And yes, this is the option that you guys want, journaled, and then erased. Now, if I click right here, there's other formats that for most of you, you guys don't wanna mess with those. Keep it simple, this will work just fine. This is the easy way to do it. And then we can just go erase, okay? Again, this is deleting your entire MacBook right now. Then we're done. That did it really, really fast. Usually I've seen this take a long time, but today it went really fast. Okay, free space, we got a bunch of free space, that makes sense. Used nothing basically, and then we have an image base, which is fine. We don't have to touch none of this. So right now, we just deleted everything from our Mac. You guys can click right here on the red dot. There you go. And from here, you guys can reinstall the OS. Or at this point, what you guys can do, if you guys have Time Machine set up, you guys can restore from that Time Machine. Okay, and then it's going to bring back all your files, all the programs that you guys had installed before, and so on and so forth. I do have a separate 
video just showing you what Time Machine is and how to use it, how to set it up. A time Machine actually works with an external hard drive, not just within your Mac. So make sure that you have an external hard drive before you proceed with any instructions to do with Time Machine. Um, anyways, right now we're going to reinstall the OS because you kind of had to. <laughs> we just erased everything from your Mac. So for this to work, you guys need to connect to your Wi-Fi. So make sure to click up here and then just select your Wi-Fi. Connect to it and then we can actually proceed with this whole installation. So this verification will not work if you guys are not connected to internet. So make sure to connect up. You guys don't need to connect it directly through Wi-Fi. Of course, you guys can hook it up through your Ethernet cable if you guys want to. Uh, just click on Agree. We do have to select this, so it has to be your Macintosh HD right now. And there we go. So, like I said, do this a day ahead. That's just in case you guys run into any problems. Um, your internet speed could be really slow at your place. Who knows? You guys could, uh, your internet could go out and then you guys have to continue on your installation later on or at a friend's house. So that's what I'm telling you guys to do this a day ahead at least. Um, if you guys are going to sell your computer or if you guys need your computer right away, this is not something that should be taken that lightly um, because we are erasing everything and installing the OS. Plus, hey, if you guys need programs, you guys are going to have to reinstall all the programs that you had in there before since we just wiped everything out. Okay guys, so after you guys see those Apple logos and loading bars, you guys should get to this point where it says welcome and you're pretty much done. I mean, all you guys have to do is put in your standard stuff. So whether you guys are in the US, United Kingdom, Canada, wherever, just go next, continue. Um, it's gonna ask you what you guys want exactly. I'm just gonna choose US for now. And then again, you guys do need Wi-Fi to set this whole thing up. So I highly recommend doing it that right now. Next thing over, if you guys want to transfer anything or set this up brand new, then there you go. Right now, it's your choice what you guys want to do exactly. So since this, this whole thing is about setting up a brand new computer factory settings, this will be your last option. So don't transfer any information now. Of course, you guys can do from a Mac time machine backup or startup disk. However, like I said, we're starting from scratch. You guys can choose whether you guys want to enable this or not. And here we go. Your Apple ID, like I told you guys, you guys should have this up and running right now. Or you guys can also create one at this point. So right here is your option to create one if you guys don't already have one. Up next, just click on agree. And yes, you guys do have to agree to this. So just before this, you guys could have picked your password, your account name. You guys can pick any account name right now. And right now it's the easiest time to do that because later on, it's gonna get a little bit difficult to do that. Uh, right now you guys could set this up or set up later. So I'm gonna put set up later. Um, this is your choice again. You guys could go for it or just uncheck these guys. And just go to continue. So this part's gonna ask you what are your files in iCloud. So uh, this is tricky. If you guys have a plan with them, I would suggest maybe go with this. <laughs> um, in my case, I don't really need it. I usually don't suggest doing this. I usually just suggest having your files on your computer. You set up yourselves your own backups and don't just let this do it automatically for you. So that's my recommendation, but it's up to you guys once again. At this point, again, you guys can share your stuff with Apple if you guys want to. If you guys don't want to, then don't. Siri, I highly suggest having that on. And Touch ID. So, set up your Touch ID. That's right here on the side. You guys will have to set that up. Um, however, we're not going to do that at this point. We're just going to skip that over so you guys can set up Touch ID later. But just to show you, I'm going to move my camera around. And here we go. So on this side, right here, and it tells you where exactly. You guys have to tap repeatedly. It's kind of like setting up your iPhone. 
Um, but I'm going to skip that step for now. So for this part, you guys do not need to put any credit cards in it. There's no need, okay? So don't feel pressured to put any credit cards. They always push this type of stuff. But my suggestion, again, is not to put anything until you guys actually need to, okay? So I'm going to press continue. And then it's going to try to scan a card. However, we're not going to do that. So up here, we're going to see next that we can skip that option. So up here, like I said, we can skip that option by clicking up here. So at this point, we are done. Your computer is nice and fresh and everything's installed. Um, what you should do at this point is update your actual Mac. So just go to the Apple logo up here, App Store, and then do any updates necessary and whichever updates you guys want. So if you guys want to install this, go ahead. If you guys don't want to, don't. You guys just have to run this update. I highly suggest running all updates. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.